because you know one of the nice things about playing a game like this is that i really i knew like the broad strokes i knew about like you know using the little gun like thing the the evoker to to call your persona yeah yeah right yeah. i knew that like the theme was blue uh-huh and that was kind of about it so i didn't know like who's in the party mm -hmm. like i didn't i didn't know any of the characters so i didn't actually know like who of these people that are are clearly characters that i'm running into are actually going to join the party mm -hmm. imagine imagine my dismay justin when one after another the 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 last members of the or the last few members of the party to join in order are a robot lady yeah a dog yeah and an elementary school kid yeah yeah that is Justin, who joins. yeah you know what i hate in rpg parties those th those three things specifically yeah. like robot people yeah dogs you don't like that robots don't talk yeah and fucking kids you know what it is and i, I was thinking about this because i was like, okay i love transformers though like transformers yeah. is my thing but the th whole thing about transformers is that they are robots that have the same emotions and and motivations and everything as humans. Like that's the whole thing that makes Transformers stand apart mm -hmm. from a lot of sci-fi for me is that they are machines that have feelings, mm -hmm. right? And my problem with most robot characters, especially in, in RPGs, mm -hmm. is they are all written the same way. Yeah, and and it's always like, well, I don't know how to relate to your human emotions. But I am going to try in a slightly humorous way. Yeah. No, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're all the same. Yeah. And, and that's my thing with, with I guess, is I'm just like, yeah, okay. I know exactly what to expect with you. Like, I'm not, I, I know, yeah. I can see where this is going from, you know, it's like, okay. And then you get the dog, which admittedly, fucking cute dog. It's a good dog. I love animals. I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't love animals. I'm saying that having a, a dog that can't talk. It's a waste of a slot in, a, in an RPG party that is based around getting to know your party members. <laughs> well, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't actually gotten to use them in, in battle yet. Yeah. Because, uh, like, they kind of all join. Like, these kind of all join, like, rapid fire. I remember they're pretty late in the in the whole yeah. scheme of things. Yeah. And and then you've got a kid. And, and my thing with the kid, besides being a kid, is I'm like... This is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. You're going to get that kid murdered. Right. Be because, like, like there's a part where you talk to him and he's like, you guys fight with weapons, right? I'm going to start training tomorrow. And it's like, uh, kid? Yeah. We're halfway through this game. It's it's rough out there. Uh, you'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Uh, I'm sure he'll be okay. I, like, if he had a different role in the party, like, if he was, like, a support thing, sort of like... Right. Um, oracle is but but that that role's already been taken yeah uh, in 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 this game but yeah it, it's like a weird thing for me uh just because you know like i mean it's a it's it's an rpg with like demons and angels like, like i get it but like you can at least explain away like why the rest of the party members can fight because like they all do things in their day-to-day -day lives that actually translates into right fighting right. really well Right, like one of the characters takes archery. So yeah, that, geez, one of them's a boxer. I one think one of them's a boxer. Yeah. One does fencing. Yeah, one of them played baseball, and so he has he uses big broadswords. Right, he uses swinging bats. It all makes sense. Yeah. and it's like this kid just decided, oh well, I've got power. I should I should use it to help you guys. And it's like you're not. That's not going to help. That's really not going to mm. help, kid. You you should stay home. <laughs> yeah, well, he um, tries his best. Maybe I, I haven't done anything with him yet, so yeah, I never got that far in that game. I'll admit, so. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was just like, oh, oh man, my excitement for like the rest. I think there is possibly one other character. Um, maybe not. That I don't. I think I that know. might be it, actually. Okay. Okay. Then they then they they hit me with with a they 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 did a, a switcheroo. Yeah. I thought there was another character that was obviously going to join the party that I was much more into. There, and it's like, yeah, oh, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think there is anymore. But if there is, I'm. I then I I mis misled you, and I did not mean yeah. to because it's. I I I've listened to like how it goes, but I can't rem. I, I remember I listened to Square Roots play it a long time ago. I was like, oh, that's how that game goes. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I feel like if they added another party member, that would be a bit like that would be too much. Mm. But I could, you know. But but then again, I played Trails of Cold Steel, which has like I don't know ten characters in it or something like that. Yeah. So 
historically, I have preferred RPGs that have large parties. I agree. I, like, I like a large cast, so that's not a big deal. But in a modern RPG, it's rare to find games right. that do have that large of a cast. Yeah. I blame Final Fantasy VII for that, actually. Uh, I can't wait to talk to Bill about Final Fantasy VII. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. uh, got a lot of shit to say about Final Fantasy VII, Justin. I'm sure you do. 